Has Sora widened the AI gap between the US and China? Sora, OpenAI's latest text-to-video model, has been making waves in the tech industry. Sora has been predicted to revolutionize the content industry and widen the Sino-US tech gap even further. But there is someone who begs to differ. China's social media influencer Sisyphus Review argues that the importance of Sora has been blown out of proportion and is overshadowing the real battlefield in the China-US technological war, which is the semiconductor industry. Here is his reasoning. Sora marks a remarkably striking and groundbreaking development for those keenly observing the AIGC, artificial intelligence generated content, sector. The most immediate application of AIGC will be in content production, where costs will be drastically cut. A 60 second CG clip with Sora only requires entering a prompt, compared with tenuous work and extravagant budget the age of Avatar demands. The long-term impact of Sora is yet to be seen, just as the inventors of digital cameras or smartphone companies could not have envisioned the emergence of an ever-expanding short video industry currently worth billions of dollars. What we do know is that for technologies, their inventors often are not the ultimate beneficiaries. For example, while Sharp, who installed a camera on a mobile phone, it's TikTok that is enjoying the $100 billion revenue. In a nutshell, Sora and the large model AI it represents are not significant on a macro level yet. Its short-term impact is limited to cost reduction content production. Its long-term impact might be greater, but it's still unknown who the beneficiaries will be. China's AI technology is about one and a half years behind. People tend to worry because as OpenAI develops rapidly, the gap has not narrowed in the past year and may have even widened. But it is my opinion that the real challenge for China to overcome lies in the chip industry instead of AI. If China can catch up in chips, AI will be a minor issue. The future AI landscape will likely resemble the internet, with China and the US acting as the main players. Chinese companies who started later with inferior technology will eventually dominate the local market and gradually catch up technologically. Due to regulatory restrictions, OpenAI cannot transform its technological advantage into brand dominance and ecosystem monopoly in China, and technological advantages cannot be maintained forever. Technological progress should benefit humanity and not be monopolized by a single company or country. No invention has ever given its country of origin a clear, sustained competitive advantage. Even with nuclear weapons, which radically changed the nature of warfare, the United States' technological monopoly lasted only four years. Some people are pushing the narrative in China's public discourse that Sora is evidence of America's superiority and China's doom. This narrative conveniently forgets the fact that just a few years ago, China was behind technologically in almost every front. If China didn't end, then it's even less likely to do so now. The biggest technological breakthroughs in the U.S. over the last 30 years Start, of course, with the internet. U.S. companies successfully turned technological advantages in the internet domain into a monopoly over the global internet ecosystem, with the exception of China. Europe and Japan missed the internet wave, resulting in its inability to challenge the U.S. economically. Second major breakthrough would be shale gas. Shale gas technology, combined with America's resource reserves, has enabled the U.S. to achieve energy independence which significantly enhances the competitiveness of American industry and its geopolitical posture. While it's possible to catch up in shale gas technology, other countries won't have access to oil reserves as the U.S. does.